I kind of like that idea, making it 3% every day, all the day. Yeah. <laughs> That'll do. World. Exactly right. That's all right. Yeah, it'll do. Eh, see ya, Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite moment? Oh, God, how do you do that? Um, let's see, 48 hours of true bliss, really, right? Oh. I mean, hello, 3% yeah. every day. How about you? Um, Man, it's hard to know. I, I think actually it's just talking with all of you out and about and seeing how um, enthused you are about imagining a world that feels like 3%. So many yeah, yeah maybe people in the room. Um, yeah, it's yeah. incredible. Uh, by the way, I'm so glad that Cindy mentioned the 97% conference. Do you guys follow that Twitter handle? It's hysterical. And John Co... 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 Thank you. Co <laughs> Go Bennett. Kovic, um, he's been tweeting some hysterical things, but I wanted you guys to know that I tweeted back to them this morning and said, I heard you guys were working on your conference where everyone comes unprepared. It's called Wing It. <laughs> so we're We've throwing shade at them, too. Um, OK, this is kind of we're, the part of the show where are we, we. Are we winging it? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> um, this is where we tell you where we'll be next so you can stay in our orbit. Um, we do one traveling event a year, and we'd like you to join us in Washington, D.C., probably in April of 2019. Mm -hmm. um, we'll be doing a one-day conference about brands and activism. Uh, this is the first year, or one of the first years, where trust in government went down and trust in brands and corporations went up. And it's super interesting to see how that's impacting the work that we're producing on behalf of our clients, so please join us for that. Um, we also, uh, for those of you who, you know, obviously went on a track and weren't able to enjoy all the tracks. You or, mean me? Well, all of us. You're like, what's I your favorite on, thing, I was right? on one track, you were on one track, <laughs> exactly. but um, this is a new product, uh, Conference in a Box, which we created. Uh, in your programs, you'll see there's a code where you can, anyone that is at this event can get 20% off that product. Really what it is, is a way for you to re-experience the sessions um, and there are discussion guides where you can gather your agency together and have thoughtful discussions that we wrote the discussion guides. And we have a really big announcement. Um, is Jean Grow still here? Yes? Okay. She's having... There she is. Ah. Hi, Jean. Um, Jean Grow is a professor of advertising. She's been here the whole time expressly to write discussion guides for a student version of this product um, to be used in classrooms. We are going to make that product free for every single advertising school in the world. We think it's super important that they can access this. Um, oh, we also have, um, how many of you go to a consumer electronics show? CES. CES. We've never been. As an introvert, it scares the hell out of me. But um, we will be going, Lisa and I will be there on January 9th because the 3% conference is being inducted into the Advancing Diversity Hall of Honors alongside Mark Pritchard from P&G. And so we will be there and yeah. hope to see some of you there. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see, what else did we want to tell people? A tweet up? Yes, Super Bowl tweet up, which we do every year. Um, we will be doing, it's on Sunday, February 3rd. Uh, we typically try to have as many of our team in different cities running gatherings. Yeah, so yeah. where were you last year? San Francisco. You were in New York. I was in New York. Andrea was in Colorado, Amanda LA. Yes, Nancy, Nancy in Miami. So uh, if Boston, you're interested Jenny. in hosting one of those, let us know. Yeah. Um, how many of you got a headshot from Wonderman? A lot of you. That's, That's awesome. amazing. Like most of thank you. Thank you, Wonderman. Yeah, thank you, Wonderman. We actually um, extended the hours for that. And I say this every year, but the reason I want you to have a headshot is so that you apply for things. Apply for jobs, apply for speaking, apply for juries, creative juries. It's something about having that ready. Mm -hmm. And to write bylines for things. Like use that. Um, how many of you left a postcard up at the bookstore for someone you admire? One? I see one hand. You left nice. Guys, we will mail them for you. Yes. I mean, mail them yourselves, but if you want us to mail them for you, bring them up to the bookstore. We will mail them. We won't read them. Um, yes, we will. Or publish on. them. <laughs> um, and then, let's see. I guess we're down to the exit survey. 
you know, one of the reasons why this conference seems to strike a chord is that we create it expressly based on what people tell us they want. And last year we really heard that you wanted more peer-to-peer -peer engagement, which we jokingly called peer-to-peer -peer at the peer. Um, but that's why we had the question game. That's why we had the expert roundtables. Um, you know, we really were looking for more ways for you guys to get to know one another and share what you know to be true. We also had 110 speakers um, at this event, and I really want to just say, like, I'm so humbled mm. by what they brought. I know. Are you? Well, I, so it, it's so amazing to me, these first-time speakers who have never spoken before and who, when they get on stage and they're telling their truth, or maybe they've spoken once or twice, and to see them shine and to know that's the beginning of a journey for them, that's the gift. And I saw so many sort of yes. newer speakers, not just the beautiful, amazing, polished ones, but the newer ones getting up there and speaking their truth. Yeah. And that, that just warms my heart. Totally. In fact, I was in the green room earlier and I heard someone saying, this is my first time. And someone else said, um, oh, speaking at a conference? And she said, no, having my makeup done <laughs> um, to go on stage, which was awesome. Um, I walked the uh, upstairs earlier. These are the biggest sponsors. Um, truly, the work we do is year, year round. You are funding this movement. Thank you for funding this event, but more importantly, thank you for funding this movement so that we can do our research and write our blog and travel and just stay sane and have a website and... Well, I mean, I, honestly, you guys, we don't just do one conference a year, right? We're actually working with clients and working with uh, agencies to help them figure out how to make change. So we, we sort of jokingly say, or not even jokingly, we have the movement side of the business, which is of course our conferences and our community, but it's also our solution side of a business. And so much of what you do allows us to invest in it, allows us. So when we have these major sponsors stepping up and helping us, that's what they're doing. It's not one and done, it's every single day. So thank you to every sponsor because you're helping us make change. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Yes. Um, the proper planning team, oh. I, I refer to them as PP always in my notes. That's why earlier, instead of saying Planned Parenthood in Introducing <laughs> Kitty, I said proper planning because I'm so used to that being their moniker. But these, this team is so unbelievably good and positive and on it and such a delight to work with. This is a hard event to put on. We love partnering with you guys. Wave your hands, friends. Proper planning. Hire them for your next event. Hire them. Just make sure it's not during our event. <laughs> and then on kind of a personal note, we've been talking a lot about men and how men show up for women. The men here, thank you. I want to thank my husband and my son who have been here for the past week, literally running interference. They, the, if I told you the list of tasks they have managed, yeah, I mean, literally, that's what it looks like when oh. a man's oh. bringing me booze. <laughs> you are awesome. Mine's already open. <laughs> Thank you to Ben and to Jean. Oh yeah. Oh. There you go. Let them, no, let them do it. Can't take him anywhere. <laughs> Oh well, I wanted to give him a moment. <laughs> this is the feminist of the future, people. Yes. <laughs> I love you. Wow. Good job. Thanks. Um, Thanks, darling. So thank you. Thank you to this community. Uh, I'd like to invite the entire 3% team on stage. Um, it, you know, please come up. Please, please, please stay in our orbit, people. We want to hear from you, and we'll see you soon. Okay.